I wasn't really raised with religion. And in a lot of ways, that's what this record seems to be symbolizing for me. Music as religion. Music as the thing that's carried me through the darkest chapters of my life. It's carried me through the brightest, highest highs of my life and everything in between. It's always been there for me. She Hey, how's it going? Kicking it in the new jam room that we got about, uh, I don't know, I guess maybe at the beginning of last year we got it, but you haven't seen it. So here we are, new room, we're super stoked. We got some Inspirato in here is what we were going for. We wanted to make it like the Inspirato jam room where we just have all of our favorite bands and the bands that meant something and helped create what we became. We got Pink Floyd, The Wall, we got Iron Maiden, we got our Sabbath, we got The Gods, Judas Priest, we got Jimmy, gotta have the Randy. And then we got Kiss. The McLean and fucking Phil Demo love Kiss. And this is, this is Zach Galapalakalakalakalas. And he's there just because, like, if that guy can do it, everyone can do it. Anything is possible. Like, he is total wild card inspiration. This is the summer, summer official titles and summer obviously unofficial <laughs> titles. Expectations. Uh, there's always high expectations. I mean, we don't spit a record out that often, so there's a lot that goes into this. We expect a lot out of ourselves. We expect Everything that we can possibly put in put into a record. So we're uh, we're reaching deep and but we've grown a lot in the past five years as well as musicians as friends as bandmates And just as people in general, so I think that uh, there's a lot of emotion getting poured into this and just A lot of creativity too, so don't expect the blackening too You know, it's gonna be no, we're, we're putting everything that we have into this one, but we do that on every record. You know, it's gonna be heavy, but melodic too, you know, it's gonna be the heaviest thing we've ever done, you know, I'm gonna stay away from all the, you know, the quotes that you see all the time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be our best effort though, for sure. The first two or three songs that we, we started working on, or just parts, were like really exciting, and we knew you know, as the last two records with Do the Ashes and The Blackening, we knew we were onto something really good. The songwriting process can, can definitely be frustrating sometimes because, you know, sometimes you're working on the same thing for two, three, two or three weeks and like, you know, the, the same parts, you're kind of waiting for something to happen the next, the next time, like you don't have a part coming up and you're kind of just waiting around for something to happen and, you know, you can get kind of stuck in a rut and it's, it's, uh, it's frustrating to say the least. So at, at this point where we're at now as far as like demoing everything and you know, we've, it's, that's when, that's kind of when everything just starts, starts flowing and whether it's by accident or, or on purpose or whatever, like things just start happening. So, um, you know, and then it, it's, you know, doing this right now, like demoing definitely gets you, gets you excited for getting into the studio and, and by that time we're, we're pretty well prepared, you know, and I mean after you know, demoing things a few times and just, you know, everything else, you kind of just kind of chomping and ready to, ready to start recording. We were looking at recording at a couple of different places in, um, in Oakland, but it turns out that we're going to end up doing everything over at Jingletown. Right now in the recording process, we're um, in, we just finished demoing some stuff, putting out music for as many years as we have. We always have to kind of make it new and fresh and interesting for us and we always look for that thing that makes a machine head that gives you that feeling that and uh, the feeling that you get from a machine head record is 
nothing if not motivating you know i mean that's what we do that's our that's our niche you know um <clears throat> so that's i mean that's enough motivation just to just to just to be in here making music when that finally gets there it's so epic and huge and fulfilling when when you get it right i mean you jam it you know sometimes for nine months without it being right but the time that you play it and it comes out right and the one little twist that you didn't have in there gets gets put into it and it makes it it's like magic i mean that's what the magic of music is right there mm -hmm.